Are you tired of opening a heavy closet door? Sick of using your brain to remember where you put something? There must be a better way. Introducing what the smart closet really should be. I'm gonna let you guys in on a secret. I'm an extremely lazy person by nature, and that's what drives me to look for prop tech that makes life easier for everyone, but mostly myself. Jeff Bezos lives by a regret minimization framework. I live by a laziness maximization framework. I have a long wish list of prop tech ideas that don't exist, and today I'm going to share one of them with you, the smart closet. There are plenty of concepts out there for how a closet should work, and they mostly involve some sort of augmented reality mirror. That doesn't maximize laziness enough for me. My dream closet user experience is something like this. I get out of bed in the morning and think, what should I wear today? Then I remember that the pandemic is still raging and I don't have to change. Okay, fast forward past the pandemic and maybe when this technology exists. I get out of bed in the morning and think, wow, I'm really old. And then I remember that I retired already and I don't have to change. But maybe I feel like playing tennis because my bionic legs still allow me to do that in my advanced age. So let's say I've got a tennis date on my calendar in my lazy retired life. In anticipation, my closet interface would ask me what court surface I'm playing on and which outfit I'd like to wear. The closet itself wouldn't have any doors. It's just a receptacle in the wall, maybe two by three by three feet. I'll answer all the questions and poot, out comes the shirt, shorts, socks, wristbands, shoes, sports bag, rackets, can of balls, and water bottle from the receptacle. When I come back, I throw the rackets, shoes, and the bag back into the receptacle and the smart closet takes care of properly storing it. The rest of this stuff needs to be cleaned so it wouldn't go back immediately. Basically, I'm so lazy that I don't want to open a closet door and use my own hands to grab something. I mean, opening a closet door is such a hassle anyway. My dream closet would eliminate the need to organize a closet and remember where things are, while also maximizing utilization of space behind the walls or maybe even in the floors. The only visible parts would be through the receptacle and the interface, which might be through your phone, if phones even still look like they do today. But wait, there's more! It wouldn't have to be restricted to closets. It could be for any storage space like kitchen cabinets and bathroom vanities. Imagine how clean a kitchen would look if instead of any cabinets you had a single receptacle for retrieval and storage. The actual storage location could be out of sight behind the walls or under the floor. Only 500,000 payments of $19.95 a month, but if you hit like and subscribe now, you'll get a second one for free. But wait, there's more. Imagine if all tenants in a multifamily building had access to community items and a subscription fee was built into the rent. For example, the KitchenAid blender with every accessory would be super expensive for a single person to own and rarely used too. The cost per use would be astronomical. But if your smart closet was connected to communal building storage, you could summon it on command. It would save costs and storage space for everyone in the building. And the software would eventually develop usage predictions and schedules for every cataloged item to maximize utilization. This is basically where the sharing economy is heading anyway. How would all this work? Well, it's basically what would happen if you made a search engine operate in the physical world. It would need machine vision capability to identify items and characteristics. Then it would need to index items by size, weight, and predicted frequency of use. The software portion would be a pretty straightforward mix of classification and indexing, and it would constantly get firmware updates as the system accumulates more usage data. Like a search engine, the software would continually strive to optimize retrieval time so it's significantly faster than using your own hands and maybe a step stool. The hardware side would be really tricky. Maybe there would be a series of standard container sizes that are easily stored, possibly in a rack-like system. I think the closest analog that currently exists are automated parking systems or automated self-storage buildings. This technology would need to be shrunken down and customized to accommodate, well, basically anything that can fit into the receptacle. So it'd have to be quite a bit more sophisticated. Why aren't you pursuing this idea, Derek? Were you paying attention? I said I'm extremely lazy, and this requires starting an entire new business and raising capital. I'm just throwing this idea out there because it's not something that makes sense as part of YD's business model, but I'd love to see someone implement it. If you want to help make this idea a reality, feel free to share this video with people who have the right resources to pull this off. Speaking of which, there are two companies that could probably pivot or evolve into developing this. Ori, which makes transforming walls with built-in furniture, and Bumblebee, which is storage built in your ceiling and controlled from your phone. Links to their websites below if you want to check them out. And for today's womb, I couldn't think of a book I've read that's related to automated storage, so let's switch places this time. You recommend a book to me in the comments. Stay curious, noob.